What's going on you guys it's your man james aka jp back again with another toys r us update video so a few months ago we took a look at how kroger and toys r us were teaming up to kind of bring toys r us back into the spotlight toys r us rebranded as jeffrey's toy box and they had little toy sections inside of kroger stores now kroger is kind of like a a walmart of sorts it's a supermarket grocery store and in that store they had little toys r us sections branded as jeffrey's toy box that had a lot of the iconic Toys R Us brands like Imaginarium, You and Me, so on and so forth. Well, it looks like Toys R Us or Jeffrey's Toy Box is still pushing to make a big comeback in 2019, hopefully by the holiday season, but nothing is guaranteed. So the same executive that founded Jeffrey's Toy Box also founded a new company called TRU Kids. And for those of you who don't know, TRU is abbreviation for Toys R Us. So TRU Kids was founded just recently, January 20th. Now what TRU Kids is hoping to do according to the articles that I found online from CNN and CBS and there's a few other articles floating out there as well. They're looking into opening stores for the holiday season specifically in the US and they're also looking at uh, certain parts of Europe and whatnot but their main focus is bringing back the Toys R Us brand into the US because that is where it's most popular that's where it was originally founded and and that's where they feel like they're going to have the most success so they're hoping to open some stores as well as have an online store but they're really focused mainly on having physical stores so they don't really have to compete with the the amazons and the walmarts and targets with the whole online scenario i think they're really focused on having uh physical stores and also they want to have smaller stores whereas toys r us in the past were about forty thousand square feet they're looking at opening stores that are around maybe 10,000 square feet so obviously they're gonna save money that way on rent and whatnot but it's also gonna save money because they won't have to purchase as much products and have that in stores as well to fill up that 40,000 square feet space now they've been in talks with some companies uh, certain companies the bridges kind of got burned with the whole liquidation process uh, but they are in talks with other companies as well and other companies are fully behind them and when I say other companies I mean like other toy brands toy manufacturers and whatnot uh, about putting their products back in Toys R Us stores apparently they're getting a lot of support very positive feedback from this whole idea and this whole process and that's pretty much the gist of it there's there's nothing concrete there's not anything for certain or even a guarantee that we will see Toys R Us start to open again here in the US uh, by the end of the year. But that is their goal and they said they're working 24 seven day and night every single day no days off to try and make this happen so it, it's just a process i'll leave the links for the articles down below so you guys can kind of read more in detail about everything that they said but that is the gist of what's happening so they are working as the new brand tru kids i don't know if that's what they're going to call the new stores if they're going to rebrand the stores as tru kids and maybe move away from the jeffrey's toy box or if they're going to bring back the toys r us name because they do have uh, the rights to Toys R Us, Babies R Us, and Jeffrey the Giraffe. They own all of that. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. But like I said, I'll leave the links down below so you guys can read more in detail. But that's a brief summary of the articles and what's going on with Toys R Us. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick update video. If you did, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And if you haven't already, make sure you check out all of my other Toys R Us coverage videos. They'll be on the screen for you to click on any second. And also, if you could follow me on Instagram, that link is in the description down below. Stay tuned for more. Make sure you click that notification bell so you get updated whenever I post a new video. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.